Let's look at task 1b from the 2024 NAT5 Admin and IT paper. It's saying there that our new contact, Neve, at the Vegan Drinks Company, would like to discuss our past orders, search the database for all items ordered from them, print a copy of your result showing only the item and date last ordered fields. When you're seeing search the database, that is telling you you're going to have to do a query from one or more of the tables in your database. So let's have a look. So remember, in the suppliers table, we've got the supplier name. In this case, it's the vegan drinks company we're searching. But in the products table, it's actually telling us the item and the date last order. So we're going to have to pull fields from both these tables. So to create our query, click on create and we're looking for query design. You'll notice the panel on the right hand side pops up and it's asking us to add the tables. Sometimes it's just one we need, sometimes we need more than one. In this case, we do need both and I'm just double clicking to open. And as we talked about in the introduction, these tables are linked together. There's a relational database uh, there. So we can pull down from either. And what we do know we need is it's, we're going to be looking for the supplier, first of all. And if you remember, if, if, we, if we run it, there's all the suppliers and it's the vegan drinks company. That's who we're looking for. So we could actually just do that now. Under criteria, we could just type in the vegan drinks company, like that. And again, it's, it's important to uh, make sure the spelling is correct. So there they are there. And just to go back, actually, if you if you did make a bit of a mistake, let's say you, you called, I don't know, you just made a, a, a typing mistake and then you try to run it. Do you see there nothing's come up? So if you're running a query and nothing's come up, it just is telling you you've just made a wee mistake, probably spelling in the, the criteria. So let's just um, fix that. Just run it again just to check that's uh, we, we've corrected the mistake. And the other two things we need to do is to show the item. So just double click on the item. Now you don't have to keep running it after everything you do, but you know, just it's quite good practice to, to, to do this just to make sure that everything's coming up the way you want. Back to, back to design. And then the last thing was to be the, um, the date of the last order. So again, from the products table, we're gonna to need to bring that in and let's have a wee look. And there's all three, and the action instructions said um, we weren't to show well, only to show item and date last orders. So remember, if you're having to print something off but not show a field, design view, just untick the supplier name in this case, and there you, you have task 1b completed. And of course, it is also quite important to save your query. If you close your query down, you're going to be prompted to save it. Uh, don't leave it as query one change it. In this case, let's just call it task 1b. It's going to help you later on for printing things off and then click on OK. So that's task 1b complete.